Hey there, this is a quick guide for how to create a small multiples map in QGIS. Uh, looking at version 3 here, sometimes you want to have a map or multiple maps on the same page, and it's pretty easy to do in QGIS. So let's talk about how that gets set up. Um, so we've got a map of crime rates here in Athens, Georgia. Um, this is for robbery in spring of 2005, 2010, and 2015. Let's go ahead and create a map real quick um, under print layout. And we'll go ahead and do new print layout. Here's our map. Let's say we want to put that up in one corner. So we click on the Add Map tool, draw it out. Um, let's just make this an even 300,000 for scale. So there it is. And let's label it so we remember what it is. So we'll put a text box here. Um, we'll call this Spring. And we can mess with the font and stuff later. But for now, this just helps us remember what each one of these is. One of the things that can be a little annoying about QGIS is that um, it will update the layers as you add more maps. So we want to lock the layers here, lock layers and lock styles that you see up here. OK, so that's map number one. Um, let's look at map number two. So map number two is going to be for a different month. So let's duplicate this layer. I'm going to right click on here and duplicate the layer. And you can see there's a robbery copy down here. Let's actually even name this layer so we remember. So we're going to rename layer right there. And let's do summer. All right, so we're going to unclick this layer, activate this layer, go under properties, and choose summer as our variable. It's actually a count. This is not the rate. So you all will be working with the rate in your lab, but you get this, the same basic idea. So now we've got this uh, map created. It looks good. We go back to our print composer and um, create a new map right here. Make it look about the same size. There we go. Make sure it's about the same scale, 300,000. There we go. And just kind of line it up. Sometimes you might want to spend a little more time figuring out what that looks like. You can see it's more or less the same. And then we'll just put summer here. There you go. And you just keep going and adding, and then you can um, try to go through. Ideally, you use the same uh, classification scheme for each map, so you can just have a single legend. But the rest of it is just like making any other map in QGIS. So hopefully, um, this is a useful walkthrough to how to start making a small multiples map in QGIS.